Hi everyone, Liam Crane here again from the FA Grassroots Service Desk. This video is just going to take you through how to edit your applications, um, editing your approved applications pretty much. Um, you know, you can make changes even though you have submitted uh, maybe a previous application to your county FA, you can um, edit that application, um, make any changes within it, um, so you don't have to create a new application. Um, you can make your changes in that application again, um, resubmit any changes to your county FA again so they can re-look at it uh, and re-approve it if necessary. And then once that's confirmed, your changes have gone through uh, and these may filter through to your event uh, as well. So that all links together nicely so you have the most up-to-date information um, on your application and on your event at the same time. So to do that, we're in the events platform, of course, and we just go to my applications first, which will take you to this page, uh, as you may have seen before. Again, at the top, we've got the filters in progress, submitted, approved and rejected. So, and obviously the program underneath. So we're going looking at Wildcats at the minute. So if we flick to approved, which will see our approved application um, being able to be edited, and these are all our approved applications, or all my approved applications anyway. Um, you may only have one or two, um, depending on how many uh, how many you've got, how many your centres uh, allow, and how many your counties allow, but um, all of them will be listed there. So if we click on to that one, the Wembley Leisure Centre one, and it should bring you to your application summary page, which you got at the end of filling out your original application. Um, so if you scroll down, and you can obviously see all the information that you, you may have previously filled in um, all the way through. So, for example, to make any changes, you can change anything with a, a pencil icon, which looks like this just here, if you can see. Um, so all of these things are editable. You know, everything down here, your documents, your days, your dates, your venue, um, county FA coaches, uh, anyone involved in your session as well. So pretty much nearly all of it is, is editable if you if you so need to do that. Um, so for example, if we wanted to change the dates of our sessions, um, we would just click the pencil icon next to our date. It would take us to the exact part of the application where you once filled out the date uh, and the days uh, and the time period uh, between your sessions. So you can just go in there, make any changes that you need to make, um, and that would show in there just like that. You can maybe change that to Christmas Day 2020. Maybe only select Saturday as your new day. Tick, untick Wednesday and Thursday. For example, save and continue, and that will change that in here so that your new dates to deliver your sessions or any sessions that you eventually create in your event um, between those dates. Uh, also, obviously, has changed the date underneath to Saturday instead of Wednesday, Thursday now. So it's as easy as that. Literally a pencil icon, make whatever changes you need to make, uh, save and continue. It will take you back to this page. Um, and then you know you can make any other changes if you need to. Um, for example, another one. So we've got our venue here. Uh, if we need to change our venue, um, perhaps we don't want it at Wembley Leisure Centre anymore. If you need to add a new venue, um, then you can do here. If that that's more so if you need to um, have more than one venue. So you if you had uh, Wembley Leisure Centre, but you also needed uh, the gym, London Wembley Park. Um, as another venue, uh, maybe you do uh, half your sessions in that one, half the sessions in the other venue. Um, you wouldn't need to take this away. You would just add a new venue, which would bring up this um, underneath uh, as another one where you can fill out its details. In fact, I might as well just show you. Um, and again, look, as you can see, so if we wanted, um, I don't know, Rectory Park as part of Middlesex FA, use your 3G pitches down there. That would be our extra venue. You just tick, uh, tick that there 
and again just fill in any details that you need to fill in underneath and that is there your second venue so you've got that one there and if you scroll up you've also got your Wembley Leisure Centre as well if you only need to change your venue your one venue then you can just simply remove this venue that you added before remove rectory park and if you were once at Wembley Leisure Centre but now no longer at Le Wembley Leisure Centre and wanted to instead be at Rectory Park itself only, type that in there instead, find venue, click the venue uh, if it's listed uh, and again just fill out all the details under here as I just showed you before. Um, this little link just here if your venue is not found here, you can obviously cl click that link and try and register it with the Football Foundation Pitch Finder, um, which will hopefully uh, get your venue on there so that you can use it successfully. And once you're happy with that, like I say, once you've filled all this in, um, you are able to then save and continue. And again, it will take you back to your summary page and change the venue instead. Now it's of uh, Wembley Desert Centre, we're now at Rectory Park. Um, and that's our new venue. So one more example uh, of a change that you can just make. Uh, again, pencil icon here. Um, this kind of screams out at you straight away if, if anything's in red um, for any staff members or anything like that. Dennis here is not doing too well. I don't think he has any qualifications to uh, to be a coach um, or to be anything in this in this whole application. So this might be someone that you want to maybe remove or change or update with qualifications things like that so again just click on this pencil icon here uh, and this will bring up you know Dennis's details um, and you can edit accordingly so it will give you all the information and if you need to remove and there's a button here to remove so if you click that and click yes then it will kind of reset itself no coach listed and then if you are the lead coach the organizer um, of the application or of the center you can obviously tick, tick that button uh, if it's you. If not, if it's someone else, you can add another coach by going there. Input their fan if you know it. Uh, if not, you can select, you know, gender, put their name in, date of birth, phone number and email, just some basic information. And once you put all that in, assuming they have the correct qualifications for the role, um, you can save and continue that, which would take you back to this application summary page. And that's pretty much it. So once you're happy with that, you can submit your application at the bottom here. Obviously, I can't at the minute just because nothing has, uh, I've not actually changed anything. But once you've changed um, your relevant details and all the criteria meet, uh, meets up um, with what we're expecting and you're happy again, you have to resubmit your application. So you're back to your county FA so they can reapprove uh, the changes that you've made. And once they've reapproved the changes, that means that they've gone through and then you can go ahead and uh, create your event or edit your event accordingly. So that's pretty much it um, on editing your application. Um, hopefully that was useful for anyone who perhaps didn't want to make changes um, in fear of kind of uh, ruining everything on their application or didn't quite know how to do it or maybe perhaps uh, created a new application because you thought that's what you needed to do. You do not have to create a new application and you just simply go back into your original one, make some changes uh, and resubmit the same application back again. Um, so it's quite flexible to give you the best chance um, of you know keeping it simple for you and, and making your event as smooth as possible in relation to your application. Thank you very much.